Yo, what's up? Yo, guess what? What's up? You won the Saron. Oh my god. I don't have uh, any e bike or anything. This will be my first of anything. Crazy. Yeah, this is the first thing I ever won. And it's just like such a like big thing. It's just insane. I'm now giving away three Talaria X's. I opened this giveaway last week and very few people have entered, even though there's three bikes up for grabs. So right now the odds of winning are higher than ever. So if you'd like to win one of these bikes, just follow the link in the description of this video. Today, I'm taking my Talaria X to its first ride out to see if this bike can handle it without any upgrades. And stay tuned until after the ride out to join me on a tour of what could be the new Saronster headquarters. I just need to load up the car, get a smoothie and drive three hours to San Diego. What's up, man? Dude, thank you so much. What's up? Yeah. What's up, man? Dude, of course. Hey. This looks safe. better than in person. Yeah, it's it's quite a good looking bike, right? And it's not too small either. Yeah. How do you how do you like this thing? It's, it's great. I mean, I'm just taking it out for its first ride today. See if it can hold up on, on a ride out. I think it'll do great. Look at this rocket. No way. Look at that thing. It's so tiny. <laughs> That's adorable. You're no less of a man, though. Oh, what's this? Oh, that's the Ultra B. Damn. Thing's nice. Oh, this is so cool. Everyone's on a Suron. Everyone's wheeling. We're right along the ocean. Nick and I drove all the way to Texas together in the Ford Ranger. So you spend 24 hours in a truck with someone, you get to know him. Good man right here. And it's it's chaotic but peaceful because it's so quiet. <laughs> it's nice, you can actually talk to people. Wow, one of the best off-road riders in the world right here. Seriously, I've done a couple videos with him. I'll put them on the screen. Willie was the f man. Pretty good. Oh, okay. 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 Oh. I should have been there for it. Oh, look at the fork. <laughs> it even made the noise. Causing a ruckus. I don't really like when we go on bike paths like this. I don't think we belong out here, but so far we're good. Man, this bike can wheelie. I'm going fast. I don't even think. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, I must be going 45 right now.
So this is the current state of my garage. It's a dream. I've got every bike I could possibly want and a couple more. I'm very grateful. The only issue is there's just not that much space in here. I have to park my truck outside every night. I get ticketed all the time for that. And there's basically just boxes and bikes in every corner, not only of the garage, but of this entire house. It's totally filled out. I can still film. It's just challenging in here. I have to move all the bikes to the other side of the, of the garage and there's just not that much space to move around and these squares on the wall eat me alive i hate these squares in the videos so today i'm touring and i want you to come with me to look at a new spot this is a commercial property so instead of a residence a house it's a warehouse and i've toured a bunch of these this is by far the nicest one there's flowers outside nice glass entrance very safe area right on a bike path right next to a costco right next to a walmart so great location and look at this walking in just beautiful entrance area now this is just the beginning of this property and it's already bigger than the garage i've been working in for about the last year now look at the polished concrete floor in here it's just beautiful so could do a lot of filming in here as well as basically displaying all these amazing bikes we got floor to ceiling windows and two offices in this area this one would actually be a great meeting room if i ever have people over to discuss builds or anything like that boom meeting room and then there's another little office down here coming back out into the beautiful i mean i'm thinking of this like a showroom area i can just see all the bikes lined up here storage and display for all the bikes a good spot to film but this is just the beginning of it look at these windows beautiful so much natural light i've been touring a bunch of warehouses and they all look and feel like warehouses this one is, feels like a museum so coming through the hallway here got a bathroom on the right and the warehouse to our front. But first, let's take a look upstairs. It switches to carpet here, which I love. At the top of the stairs, there's this little kitchen area with plenty of room for a refrigerator. This is nice because if I'm doing Sarancer out of here, I'm gonna be here all day, every day. So it's nice to have a little kitchen. And then here we're going into a massive carpeted room. This would have to be the hangout room. Put a couch in here, TV, review videos, come up with ideas, hang out. Really nice room. Three offices up here. All of them have so much space. This one with the corner windows, I'd have to make this my office, put my desk in here, do all my video edits, all my phone calls, emails. Just a really nice spot to work. This would be an insane upgrade from where I am right now. It's a three year commitment to move into a spot like this, a commercial property, which is a huge commitment. It's a big risk, but the next three years for Saroncer, I have some really big plans and I need space like this to grow into. And uh, this is by far the nicest one I've seen. And it's got a great little bathroom. Most of the bathrooms in these commercial spaces look like gas station bathrooms, but this is like a house bathroom. This room's got natural light for days. Imagine doing like a podcast in here. There's just so many opportunities with this much space. Coming downstairs to the best part of this property, hands down, the warehouse. Look at all this space. Oh my goodness, so much room for activities. It's got this beautifully smooth concrete floor and a massively tall ceiling. This whole space feels so open and bright. It's perfect for videos. There's a little nook here and the bathroom is way bigger than you need to take a shit. But just look at all this space. Now I wouldn't be using all of this if we were to move in here. Domo would take up probably this whole wall doing his engineering and builds. And then I would be on this side doing all my videos. There is plenty of space to grow in here. There's a back door here and a massive bay door. So now I can load up my truck inside. And you know, we're dealing with more than just bikes. We've got these big electric carts that don't fit through normal doors. So having a big bay door opening like this is really nice. Just think of all the possibilities in here. Please let me know what you think about this space. Do you see Saronster being here? Do you think this is the right decision? please let me know down below because I'm really feeling it. And if you're feeling it too, this is what the next three years of Saroncer is gonna look like. And I'm giving away these three Talarias. So if you wanna win one, the odds are super high. Very, very few people have entered so far. So if you wanna enter this giveaway, go ahead and check out the description. As always, thank you so much for watching. Yeah.